welcome back. Right now, ethanol producers and automakers are awaiting a decision from EPA on whether to increase the amount of ethanol that's blended into gasoline. Ethanol producers say their product is better on the environment and gives us a step away from foreign oil dependency. Car makers say the move would be costly to them because they'd have to recalibrate their engines to handle more ethanol. But now researchers at Argonne National Lab in Chicago say they may have the answer. Clean Sky's Lee Patrick Sullivan shows us the omnivorous engine. This engine is only two years old, but it's not a picky eater. Gasoline, ethanol, butanol, or any combination of the three, it will slurp it up and perform. It's called the omnivorous engine, and the folks at Argonne National Lab outside Chicago say it could revolutionize the internal combustion engine. In our concept optimizes itself to run as efficiently as possible on a variety of fuels including gasoline, ethanol, other alcohols like butanol and the mix of all these fuels. Now in theory any alcohol based fuel that can be ignited by a spark plug will work in a gasoline engine. Just ask the folks that fill up with used french fry grease. What they don't tell you is how poorly the cars perform. Even E85 flex fuel vehicles lose efficiency when the ethanol mix gets higher. Right now, as you fill up with E85 versus gasoline, your vehicle will lose about 30% of its range because of the lower energy content of ethanol versus gasoline. If we're successful with this concept, we might be able to run the engine more efficiently on ethanol than it runs on gasoline because it optimizes itself. It does this by using a series of sensors in the fuel line. These sensors can detect the ions in each kind of fuel and calibrate the engine accordingly. This is something that would take a mechanic several hours to calibrate based on what type of alcohol-based fuel was being used. These sensors do it on the fly. And the omnivorous engine is being put through the ringer in a virtual world at Argonne National Lab. So behind this screen is an entire model of a vehicle with a battery, with tires, with electrical motor and everything. The software was developed at Argonne and it tricks the engine into thinking it's in a real car, cutting down on research and development time. Tests that used to take years for automakers now are completed in days. So we have our own modeling software called Autonomy, which is used to model vehicles. And we use that software and we connect it to a real engine and make the engine believe that it's in the vehicle. If successful, the omnivorous engine could have a huge impact on energy policy. Each state could come up with its own blend of fuel without having the automakers tweak their engines. Driving through Iowa, use 100% ethanol. Entering Chicago, use a butanol blend. You can use the same fuel, you can use different fuels, you can drive across cities which have different blends of ethanol or butanol or something and you can still use the same fuel and be assured that your car or your engine is giving you the maximum performance possible. And the folks at Argonne are also working on a diesel version of the omnivorous engine. We have a different project where we're looking to ion sensing feedback for diesel engines and that could be used on diesel or biodiesel or, or other uh, replacement fuels for, for regular conventional diesel. Now to have an engine that runs on different types of fuels isn't a new idea. The early Model T's actually ran on ethanol and gasoline, but if you changed your fuel, you had to recalibrate. At Argonne National Laboratory, Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News.